so today we are going to discuss four most important type of the penicillin so basically penicillin is an antibiotic that is used against the different bacteria first of all we will discuss the structures of the penicillin general structure and then we will discuss the four most important type of the penicillin so if you look at the structures of the penicillin you will see the four most important component of the penicillin first component will be the thiazolidine ring so here is the ring that is the thiazolidine ring that is the first component of the penicillin okay next component will be the beta lactam ring okay now in the red color you will see the beta lactam ring okay so on the behalf of the presence of the beta lactam ring we call these drugs as beta lactam drug okay and next you will see the presence of the amino group here is the nh now this is actually the amino group amino group okay and last you will see the presence of the r group or you can say alkyl group so basically alkyl group will decide the type of the penicillin different types of the penicillin having different r group otherwise all three structures thiazolidine beta lactam ring and the amino group will remain the same in all penicillin but difference will be at the R group. Okay. So we call thiazolidine, beta lactamine, and amino group collectively as 6 amino penicillinic acid. 6 amino penicillinic acid. Okay. That's the most important thing. If we collectively call these things thiazolidine ring beta lactam ring and the amino group then we will call it six amino penicillinic acid okay so penicillin actually susceptible by the two most important component one component actually comes from the human and second component actually comes from the uh, bacterial okay so when penicillin taken through the oral route then the penicillin is actually destroyed by the acid that is actually produced from our stomach and that acid is actually the hcl hcl actually produced in the stomach and hcl destroy the penicillin okay this hcl will destroy the penicillin so it means that penicillin is susceptible by the acid that is produced from our stomach. Okay. Second, you will see the enzyme that is actually produced from the bacteria that is called penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase. Why do we call it penicillinase? Because that enzyme will act on the penicillin. Then why we do we call beta lactamase? Because that enzyme actually specifically act on the beta lactam ring of the penicillin. So it means that that enzyme actually attack on the penicillin and destroy the penicillin. Okay. So it means that penicillin is susceptible by the two components. One is the acid that is produced from the stomach and second is the enzyme that is actually uh, produced by the bacteria. So if you see here, here is the beta lactam ring. So that enzyme is specifically break the carbon nitrogen bond of the beta lactam uh, ring. So penicillinase enzyme break that bond and destroy the beta lactam ring. Beta lactam ring is very much important in the antimicrobial activity. When there is no beta lactam ring, there is no uh, antimicrobial activity. So that's the defense mechanism of the bacteria. Okay. And second is the acid. So basically acid destroys the nitrogen and the carbon bond. 
okay that is the action sites of the hcl that is produced from our uh, stomach so here are basically the two most important susceptible components of the penicillin so if we discuss the different types of the penicillin so basically first of all we will discuss the natural forms of the penicillin so that is the penicillin g and the second component is the penicillin v these penicillin are actually produced by the fungus that is the penicillium chrysogenum okay that fungus will be called the penicillium chryso chrysogenum okay that fungus actually naturally produce the penicillin g and the penicillin v so that's why uh, they are called the natural forms of the penicillin okay so the difference between the penicillin g and the penicillin v will be at the odd side okay that is structure thiazolidine ring beta lactam ring and the amino group which is collectively called the six amino penicillinic acid will remain the same but the difference will lie at the R side. So, in the penicillin G, you will see the benzyl ring. Okay. And here is the carbonyl functional group. So, that is actually the penicillin G. Okay. On the other hand, in the penicillin V, you will see just one addition of oxygen. That's the most important thing. Okay. So, penicillin G available in different forms. They can be available in the aqueous form. Aqueous penicillin G. Aqueous penicillin G rapidly metabolized in our, in our body. Okay. Uh, next form of the penicillin G will be the procaine. Procaine penicillin G. Now you will see the conjugations of the penicillin G with the procaine. Okay, that is actually the conjugated forms of the penicillin G. Another conjugated forms of the penicillin will be the benzathine penicillin G. Okay, that's the most important thing. So, aqueous penicillin lin G rapidly metabolized in our body. Procaine penicillin G slowly metabolized in our body. And benzathine penicillin G very slowly, very, very slowly metabolized in our body. That's the most important thing. Okay. So, important thing which you have to remember about the penicillin G and the penicillin V. So, you can take the penicillin G through the IV or you can say IM. Intravenous route and the intramuscular route. Okay, why? Because penicillin G is susceptible by the acid. Stomach acid can easily hydrolyze the penicillin G. So, we can't take the penicillin G in the form of oral route, in the, through the oral route. So, that's why we give the penicillin G through the IM routes. Okay. But on the other hand, you can take the penicillin V through the oral. Because acid, stomach acid has little effect on the penicillin, penicillin V. That's the most important thing. Stomach acid actually uh, has little effect on the penicillin V just because of the presence of the oxygen atom. That's the most important thing. Okay. And next you will see what bacteria are actually susceptible by the penicillin G and the penicillin V. So general rule which you have to remember that the gram positive Bacteria generally actually susceptible by the penicillin G and the penicillin V. That's the general rule. Okay. But on the other hand, gram-negative bacteria 
do not easily destroy by the penicillin G and the penicillin V. Okay, here are basically the gram negative. Okay, so in the gram positive types, you will see most important, you will see the cocci, gram positive cocci. You can also see the gram positive rods. So in the gram positive cocci, you will see the streptococcus pneumoniae. Streptococcus five genes, we really dance streptococci. Okay, that's the most important thing. And in the rods, positive rod, you will see the bacillus anthracis, corny bacterium diphtheri. So these are basically the different bacteria that are actually susceptible by the penicillin G. Okay, in the negative case, you will again see the two forms: gram negative cocci and the gram negative rods. Okay, in the gram negative cocci, you will see the Nizeria species. So, Nizeria species are actually susceptible by the penicillin in G. But, but most important thing, rods will not be susceptible by the penicillin G. Penicillin G and the penicillin V do not have any effect on the gram negative rods. That's the most important thing. That case is will similar for the penicillin V. But just keep one thing in your mind that the penicillin G has 5 to 10 times higher potency than the penicillin V. That's the most important thing. And last, most important thing which you have to remember, both these drugs can be destroyed by the another susceptible component of the penicillin is the penicillinase. So that's enzyme. Here is the enzyme penicillinase. Penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase destroy both penicillin G and the penicillin V. That's the most important thing. Penicillinase enzyme destroy both these penicillin forms. Okay. Next you will see the ampicillin and the amoxicillin. So with the passage of the time, we uh, have to change the natural form into the synthetic form. We synthesized ampicillin and amoxicillin by ourselves due to some reasons. Because penicillin G actually destroyed by the stomach acid. Okay, that's the most important thing. Okay, so on the behalf of this, we just have to make more successful forms of the penicillin. That will be the ampicillin and the amoxicillin. So, both ampicillin and the amoxicillin, you will see the presence of the amino group. Here is the NH2, here is the NH2. So, these are basically the amino penicillin due to the presence of the amino group. Okay, that's the most important thing. And what bacteria are actually susceptible by the ampicillin and the amoxicillin? So, rule will be just opposite to that. Okay, bacteria, gram negative bacteria, specifically rods, gram negative rods will be susceptible by the ampicillin. Okay, similarly for the amoxicillin, gram negative rods will be susceptible by the or will be sensitive by the ampicillin and the amoxicillin, and the opposite. You will see the positive. So positive bacteria will be less susceptible by these drugs. Rule will be just opposite to that. These are for positive. These are for negative. That is the most important thing. Okay. Important thing, these two drugs, ampicillin and the amoxicillin, actually do not destroy by the stomach acid okay due to the presence of the nh2 and group in both of them stomach acid has little effect or almost no effect on the ampicillin and the amoxicillin so you can take these drugs to the oral route okay but but Penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase enzyme is still have effect on the ampicillin and the amoxicillin. That enzyme bacterial soil can destroy the ampicillin and the amoxicillin. Then what 
should we do to prevent this process? So, we add the penicillinase or beta lactamase inhibitors. Inhibitors along with these ampicillin and the amoxicillin. So, beta lactamase or you can say penicillinase inhibitors will be the, you can say, clavulanic acid. Okay. You can say sulbactam, avibactam, tazobactam. So here are basically the four most important penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase inhibitors. Clavulanic acid, sulbactam, avibactam, tazobactam. These four compounds can easily inhabit this enzyme. When this enzyme is inhabited, then the ampicillin and amoxicillin can easily do their work. Okay, so we add the, if I say, we add the sulbactam. Sulbactam to the ampicillin. The sulbactam will inhabit the enzyme. So after inhibition of the enzyme, ampicillin can easily do its work. That's the most important thing. Okay. Similarly for the amoxicillin, we add the clavulanic acid. Okay. That's the most important thing. Now the clavulanic acid inhabits the enzyme penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase. Okay. After the inhibition of the enzyme, amoxicillin can easily do its work. Otherwise, the enzyme can easily destroy the amoxicillin. When there is no amoxicillin, there is no antimicrobial action. So, generally in market, you can get the clavulanic acid along with the amoxicillin. And the brand name will be the augmenting. Okay, that's the most important thing. So this is all about the most important four types of the penicillin, penicillin G, penicillin V, ampicillin and the amoxicillin. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.